I want to tell you a story of our neighborhood during the crisis. On Beach Place, where I live, there are at least 18 foreclosures. On Aspen, the next street over, there were 24 foreclosures. And on Taney, there were at least 77 foreclosures. Fully 30% of the homes in Georgetown South went into foreclosure. That's almost 300 homes. No, that's 300 families. That's right, that's right. For 300 families right. that were destroyed. Yeah. We want change. Now. Modify our loan. Now. Modify our loan. Now. now. We want change. Now. We want change. Now. Modify our loan. Now. Since 2004, Prince William County has had the highest number of foreclosures in Virginia, 16,000. Here in Manassas, 10% of homes went into foreclosure. Over the past two years, Voice, we've helped 500 community residents struggling to keep their homes, to get connected with free housing counseling, to negotiate loan modifications. In the process, maybe more important, we have heard their stories. This house was owned by Arminda Ramos. It was foreclosed on on March 2nd, 2009. You know what she paid for this house? $224,000. You know what this foreclosure price is listed at? $40,500. $40,500. By the numbers, WMC Mortgage, which is owned by the parent company uh, General Electric and our good friend Jeff Emmelt. Jeff Emmelt, he is the worst lender in Prince William County. And while you struggle to pay your mortgage, Jeff got $15.2 million in bonus and salary in 2010. Enough is enough. enough is enough. Did you know that GE, which he's the CEO of, reported $5.1 billion in profit in 2010 and paid no federal taxes? Not a dollar. This bank encouraged brokers to give higher interest loans by giving them kickbacks. And let me tell you what, they, they sort of are proud to say, aren't they great people, that their interest rates never went higher than 14%. This is one of those, oh, by the way moments. Jeff Emmel has been selected to be President Obama's job advisor. Let me tell you something. I came to a conclusion that if I'm ever going to learn how to swim, I will never ask a man who drowned to teach me how to swim. How can Jeff Emma help me? That's like putting a fox in the hen house. Over the course of almost three years in the loan modification process, I lost everything anyway because they modified my loan the first time higher payments than what I already had. That is an atrocity. That is not what the loan modification right. program was designed to do. That's right. I'm in pain. Yes. Yes. Oh, what I ask is that at the bank give me the modification plan right. they offered me and they gave me before. I'm not asking that they give me free my house. I want to pay it. And uh, enough is enough. Nobody else deserves this pain. We put all of our documents together for the modification, double-checked it, and mailed it to the Bank of America. Finally, in March 2011, we got our denial letter. We were denied because, and I quote, you are not eligible because you are current on your mortgage loan. We have determined that you are not at risk of default because you have not documented a financial hardship that has reduced your income. 
Our family has lost 73% per year in income. This is not a financial hardship. Yes. I don't know what is. We don't have TV, we don't go out to eat, we don't drive as much, we're deferring our son's college expenses, we are borrowing from family members to keep COBRA going. But at $816 a month, we are considering dropping our health insurance so we can afford the mortgage and still put food on the table. And this is not a financial hardship. Mm. Our tax dollars rescued these banks. We bailed That's them right. out. That's right. That's right. The CEO of the Bank of America, Brian Moynihan, mm. received a $10 million bonus last year. I just want a fraction of that. I want my loan modification. But he isn't able to modify our loan. Now, when my family needs a little help because of the bad economy that the banks helped create, they are nowhere to be found. It's time they recognize that this is a broken system and it needs to be fixed for my family and for other people across Northern Virginia. Thank you for letting me share. This home, which was foreclosed upon nine months ago, has the distinction that the bank is playing a little trick right here. The bank has not formally taken ownership of this home. And you know what that means for Mr. Barrios and his family? That means that they are still responsible for paying all of the homeowner's fees and all the taxes on this house, even though they were kicked out nine months ago. It is a dirty trick that the banks play so that they can squeeze one more drop of money out of this family and out of this community and out of us. So what's the conclusion to this? Jeff Emmel, Jamie Dimon, Brian Mortahan, Get your hard hats on. That's right. That's right. You've got some work to That's do right. in here. Yeah. You need to end the predatory lending nightmare. Yeah. You need to keep these families in their homes. Yeah. You need to reform the mortgage modification process. Yeah. You need to reinvest and rebuild Georgetown South, yeah. Forestdale, Williamstown, Iron Gates, and God knows you need to modify some loans. Yeah. Yeah. WMC, yeah. Bank of America, yeah. J.P. Morgan Chase, we are holding you accountable, and we are demanding the change right now. Justice, 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 justice. That's what we want. We want justice. We want justice from these banks, from these CEOs. That's what we want. Justice.